Hi, I'm Montana, and today we're going to talk about the different of pipe sizes. The first pipe size ever used in a plumbing system was the iron pipe size, IPS. Over time, other pipe sizes were introduced, including copper piping, copper tube sizes, C CPVC, and most recently PEX. When ordering and selecting fittings, it is important you are aware of what pipe sizing system you are working with. Fittings that are designed for IPS will not work on CTS piping and vice versa. In this video, we will take a look at differences between iron pipe size, nominal pipe size, and copper tube size, and easy ways for you to differentiate between the three. Iron pipe size, IPS. The materials that are iron pipe size are carbon steel, red brass, 304 and 316 stainless steel, PVC, Iron pipe sizing is the most popular and commonly found in general piping and industrial applications. Copper tube size, CTS. Copper tube size is also found in these materials. Copper, CPVC, PEX. Copper tube sizes are specific for plumbing and potable water systems. Terms to remember. IPS, iron pipe size. CTS, copper tube size. NPS, nominal pipe size, OD, outside diameter, ID, inside diameter, SDR, standard dimensions ratio, CTS, copper tube sizes. So what's the difference? The number one difference between IPS and CTS is the actual outside diameter. Before IPS was the standard for welded wrought iron pipe only, which was only based on the inside diameter. Once nominal pipe size, NPS, took over for IPS, the change was made to be controlled by the OD. This is why the diameter differs from, nominal, from the nominal diameter. In the industry, you will still see IPS terminology rather than NPS to avoid any confusion with the nominal pipe straight, which is the part for the ASME B120. With CTS and IPS, there is another measurement which also refers to the wall thickness of the tubing of the pipe, but the CTS, the tube dimensions, are specified by the exact OD and the tube wall thickness. Advances in manufacturing technology have evolved to make several wall thicknesses now available where years ago, the only wall thicknesses available was one eighth of an inch. When it comes to IPS, the pipe dimensions are solely determined by the nominal OD, which is actually different from the measured OD, and the schedule that relates directly to the pipe wall thickness. For different types of pipe, like CVPVC and PEX, the wall thickness is determined by the standard dimension ratio, SDR, which is the ratio of the outside diameter to the wall thickness, typically in the range of 7.4 to 13.5. With regards to IPS, there is a large variety of wall thickness options. The wall thickness is determined by schedules. Schedule 40 and 80 pipes are most commonly used in plumbing applications, but there are many schedule ranges available from as thin as 5 to as heavy as 160. When the schedule number increases, the wall thickness also increases. This enhances the ability of the pipe to handle greater pressures, but this also decreases the pipe ID, which reduces the flow inside the pipe. Ultimately, no matter the wall thickness, the nominal and measured OD will not change. In summary, determining what fittings and valves are required for your piping system can be tricky. Fittings are designed for specific systems, will not work with any other systems, so it is very important to be aware of the differences so you pick the correct product. This video is based off of a blog called Differences Between Iron Pipe Size, Nominal Pipe Size, and Copper Tube Size. To view the original blog, head over to bowchartu.com.